Three main types of radiation are alpha, beta, and gamma. Alpha is the largest type of radiation, gamma the smallest, with beta in between. We use paper, aluminum, and lead to observe three types of radiation's penetrating power. By doing the properties of radiation lab, we were able to compare the three types of radiation by the counts per minute and their penetrating abilities through the shielding material. To perform the lab, we used a geiger muller radiation detector, an instrument that detects and measures the intensity of radiation, a laptop, the Logger Pro computer program, the three radiation source disks, three different shielding materials, paper, aluminum, and lead, a ruler, and a data table. Each source was measured at a distance of one, two and a half, five, and ten centimeters away from the detector. The mean CPM calculated from the Logger Pro program was recorded after 40 seconds from each distance for each of the three radiation sources. The radiation sources were then tested at a distance of one centimeter with the shielding materials for the same amount of time. All of this information was recorded on the data table. We came across different results for each type of radiation. We concluded that the further the radiation source is from the detector, the smallest mean CPM is. Source PL210 alpha radiation had a high CPM, but when the shielding materials were added, the alpha radiation barely penetrated through the thinnest shielding material paper. Source SR90 beta radiation had an even higher CPM and was able to penetrate through paper, but it was then stopped by the aluminum, the second thickest shielding material. Source CO60 gamma radiation had a very high CPM and was able to penetrate through all three shielding materials, still maintaining the high mean CPM. This is because gamma radiation is extremely thin, which enables it to penetrate through very thick and compact materials. After analyzing the recorded data, we concluded that CO60, the gamma radiation source, had the strongest penetrating power, while PO210, the alpha radiation source, had the weakest penetrating power. This is because gamma radiation is a photon of electromagnetic energy that has no mass or charge and doesn't interact with matter as much as ionizing particles like alpha and beta. Since gamma radiation loses energy slowly, gamma rays are able to travel to great distances. Alpha radiation had the weakest penetrating power because it consists of two neutrons and two protons, making it relatively heavy and limited to its penetrating abilities. Beta radiation consists of an electron being emitted from the radioactive nucleus. Beta radiation is not as weak as alpha radiation, but it's not as strong as gamma radiation, putting it in between the two types. All this information can be found in the article Radiation Properties by Princeton University.